Today we're dealing with a disease called three-day stiffness in cattle. Welcome, I'm Dr. Danny Woodendal. Yeah, also a disease that we see in late summer and autumn. Again, a virus disease transmitted by biting insects and that's why we see it this time of the year. A difficult disease to differentiate from other deadly diseases. We have a lot of other deadly diseases this time of the year, like red water, like hot water. So with three-day stiffness, we just see an animal that is very stiff. It don't want to walk. It can't walk. In many cases, we try to, to move it on and it don't want to walk. There's major inflammation and soreness in all the joints and in the muscles. Many of these cases go down. They lie down and they can't get up. But the funny thing, and that's why we have the name three-day stiffness, is that in most cases, the animals get much better within three days. Initially, they also will have a fever, but unlike the other diseases, the inside eyelid won't be white. There's no other red urine, no other sign of disease except the stiffness. So you can distinguish it from other diseases. Uh, Unfortunately, like with all virus diseases, there's no specific treatment. What we do is we do give anti-inflammatory just to take the pain away that the animal feel better, that it maybe can get up and eat. But at the end of the day, this disease has the biggest effect when it happened in late summer on the breeding of the animals, especially in bulls. Bulls can't breed if they had a disease for two reasons. The one is they're too stiff to do it. The other one, it will affect the sperm that was produced for another six weeks. So if it happened in the middle of the breeding season, that bull won't be, won't be fertile for that breeding season. We see it mostly in the young animals, the heifers. If we see it in the adult animals, a lot of them go down. Because they're lying down for such a long period, the blood supply and nerve supply to the, to the legs then get numb and they can't get up again. So is it the disease that we have to vaccinate against? Talk to your veterinarian about the program before the rainy season. If you give it to young animals, you have to boost the vaccination at least a month later. What we do now with our vaccination programs, we move the booster very close to the period where we see the disease to get the most effect out of the vaccine. So farmers talk to your veterinarian. It's a disease that can cause major problems during the breeding season. It can be prevented by vaccination and the right program that need to be followed before the rainy season. I just want to thank our sponsors, uh, King Price Insurance, uh, as well as designed by Logix that produce vaccines for sponsoring these programs uh, that we can bring it to you as farmers. So farmers that want more information can send me a WhatsApp to number 072-377-4423 if you want more information about the treatment of this disease that we're dealing with today.